Oh my gooseneck, who could it be the thousandth Nendoroid? Because for the moment, we have 993 Nendoroid that has been released already. And I am super duper excited to find out who could it be or who would it be for the thousand Nendoroid. Now, I've done some research and it seems to be a pattern on how Good Smile Company released the Nendoroid. And I've noticed that every 50s or 100, 150, 200, 250s and so forth, it seems that the characters at those numbers are pretty iconic. So I've done a little bit of compilation for this video for you so that you would know who has been released at those uh, numbers basically and maybe from there we'll be able to find out who could be the thousand nendoroid or we can formulate something up so basically number or a hundred nendoroid to begin with is actually mickey mouse which is such a big character and also at the big uh number as well to be a hundred so which is quite fitting and it's also amazing that they've released mickey mouse because also they recently released uh sora which would go amazing with Sora because uh, of Kingdom Hearts. So that's pretty cool actually. For 150th, they've released uh, Snow Miku Playtime Edition and Miku is such a big character in Japan, as you guys know. For the 200 Nendoroid basically, they've released Gumako. Now, I don't really personally know who Gumako is, but uh, this is basically the girl that uh, when you buy the Nendoroid uh, suction, uh, cup basically where you can put the nendoroid in a glass or something so that the nendoroid can be flying uh, It's the character over here in this box. The 250th nendoroid It is actually Saber from the Fate series and Saber is quite a big big massive character Everybody knows Saber basically if you watch the Fate series and also not to mention the 250th nendoroid is actually the 10th anniversary of of Good Smile Company as well. So it's only fitting to release a 250th um, Nendoroid to be a, such an iconic character like Saber or like basically Mickey Mouse. And also not to mention about uh, the 50th Nendoroid, it's actually Saber as well with a crossover of a lion. Not really quite sure about that, but I'll be putting the pictures over here so that you can have a look and it is actually Saber but I'm not really sure where was the crossover of the lion I think it's from a game or something now moving forward for the 300 Nendoroid it's actually Hatsune Miku 2.0 which is another Miku basically but like what I said Miku is such a popular character in Japan so it's only fitting for it to be the 300 Nendoroid and the 350th Nendoroid is Rankali from the anime Macross Frontier. I don't really quite, uh, I'm not really quite sure about this anime. I haven't seen this anime yet, but definitely I need to watch this anime to find out more if she, if it's a good anime actually, if it's fitting for the number 350th Nendoroid. Now for the 400 Nendoroid, you have your girl over here, Sakura from the anime Card Captor Sakura, another iconic anime, basically 90s anime well i think it's 90s because i've seen it in the 90s since I'm, I'm since i'm a 90s baby but yeah it's another it's another iconic character over here and the nine the 450th nendoroid is honoka kosaka from the anime love life not quite sure about this one as well but maybe it's popular in japan or something i don't know 500 Nendoroid is none other than Sakura Miku. Yet again, another Miku character for the 500. So could it be that the 1000 Nendoroid could be another Miku? Since Miku has been released probably four or five times after or before the 500 Nendoroid. So maybe, maybe there's a big chance over there. 550th Nendoroid is actually your girl from Frozen. Do you want to build a snowman? Which is Anna. And then also Elsa was released at 475, which I'm like thinking, hmm, Elsa was released first at 475, but I feel like Elsa could have been the 550th character since Elsa is more popular than Anna, in my opinion. Now, moving forward to the 600 Nendoroid, we have another Saber, basically, or Saber, Altria, Pendragon from the Fate Zero game basically or also we have a fate um we're sorry we have a saber over here altria pendragon but in a kuposh version i don't have the nendor version but i have the kuposh version over there 
And following 600, which is 650th, is another saber, but Jean d'Arc saber, which is basically saber again. Now moving forward, we have Remu Hakure 2.0 at 700 from the Tohu project, which is also actually an event NEM droid. So quite a big, uh, quite a big uh, character for it to be an event exclusive NEM droid as well. Uh, and the 750th NEM droid is from Sword Art Online, which is Kirito and Asuna OS version. Now, 800 NEM droid. It's your boy, who's that Pokemon, Satoshi or Ash Ketchum, and Pikachu basically. Yet again, another iconic character in the 90s, basically. And 850th Nendoroid is another Miku, which is a Snow Crane Miku. See, there's a lot of Miku basically that has been released at this uh, pattern. So 50 at 100 or something. Uh, now we have the 900 Nendoroid, which is Arale Norimaki from the anime series Dr. Slump Arale Chan. Not quite sure about this anime, but I've seen it somewhere already and I've been seeing it a lot. I haven't watched the anime yet, but another quite popular anime, I guess. Uh, and the 950th Nendoroid is another Fate Grand Order uh, character from the game who is Nendoroid Lancer or Elizabeth Banthori. Now, as you can see, the 50th, 100, 150th, it's all iconic characters. So it could possibly be, first and foremost, I think, could possibly be another a character from the Fate series, only because recently they've released a lot of Fate series character online that they are going to release. So it could be one of those, basically. or. Also, at the same time, it could be another Miku character because Miku is such a big thing in Japan, like what I said, and also 500 Nendoroid was a Sakura Miku, so it could be possible as well that 1000 um, Nendoroid could be another Miku. Another theory that I have is probably it could be an iconic uh, 90s anime character. Let's say Son Goku because for the moment I haven't really seen a Son Goku Nendoroid yet or any of any characters in the Dragon Ball Z franchise. So it could be Son Goku since Son Goku is such a popular uh, anime. Also another Nendoroid that I really actually would like to see is Astro Boy because Astro Boy is another iconic anime character and it would only be fitting to have him as the thousand uh, Nendoroid. And also, other than that, you also have other iconic anime such as Yu Hakushu, like Eugene. So probably Eugene could be the thousand Nendoroid. Not really quite sure. But then, looking at the pattern at hand, it's probably going to be a very very iconic anime character. I'll be really disappointed if they just nominate a thousand Nendoroid to an anime that I'm not quite aware of. and I wouldn't say I'm a super duper otaku uh, fan but I do watch anime once in a while and also if I get the chance so I'm not super aware of all of the animes but all of the mainstream animes I think I I think I'm up to date basically so what do you guys think will be the thousand Nendoroid basically put your comments at the below of this video and let me know who do you guys want to see basically or who do you guys think will be the thousand nendoroid and i'm sure you guys will be so excited as well to find out who would it be as as excited as i am and there you guys have it thank you very much for watching this video i hope this video gave you some uh a little bit of the uh, light to find out or an idea who could be the thousand nendoroid and i guess Time will just say, or time will just tell, whether who will be the thousand Android. Again, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!